What's up, y'all? Back like I never left. It's just me and my son this morning. Uh, just showing y'all basically what we do mostly every day. Wife is at work. I work nights. <laughs> uh, she work days. Uh, working those kind of hours, I kind of don't like it. Say what's up, buddy. Say what's up. Say what's up, YouTube. Say what y'all doing. Go like that. Say go like that. Yeah, he love. He got all these toys down here, and this is what he likes to do. So, it's most definitely a uh, daddy's boy. But like I was saying, working those kind of schedules, you know, you barely—I ain't gonna say barely, but you really don't get to spend no time together unless it's during the weekend. Because once she comes in, I'm leaving out. Once I come in, she sleep, and then she gotta get up for it. So it's not like we both work days or we both work nights. So it's a real, real task. So. I gotta get used to it, which I don't like, but I don't know how the dynamics is of being in the marriage and doing that. A lot of people say that they've done it and it's probably fine for a couple of years, but that doesn't last. So I hope it don't last for me because I do want to work days and be home with my family at night because I know it's a difference at night versus being in the day, you know, wife being at home by herself would just, you know, twine over there and, you know, me being at work at night. It's a thing, so, you know, I gotta work, I understand that, but, you know, it is what it is for right now, but, I'm gonna show y'all my basement, I do like to keep it clean, but, you know, this one come down here, and mess it up, as y'all can see, he got a bounce house, y'all, he got a slide, say what's up, say what's up. He got a bounce house, he got a slide, he got a little drum set. Hey. Look, he love his bounce house. He got a little drawers on, cause you know, he too potty training, so. But he love his bounce house. You love your bounce house? Huh? Got a basketball hoop right here he like. Got a little Lego truck. He got a toy, um, toy Jeep in the garage he had for Christmas, too. I bought basically bought all the stuff for Christmas, but anyway, there we go, good light. Anyway, see, like, go ahead, show him your shot, go ahead. Shoot it. You want me to shoot it? Yeah, I'll shoot it. Y'all see me, look, look. And it's nothing, y'all. Nothing. In the ball. Let's shoot it again. Buddy. He be a little aggressive with the ball, as y'all see. He just like to just hit it. Instead of throwing it. He got his little moments, but. There's this pot right here. As y'all can see, he done already peed in it. So it's a task trying to get a two-year-old to be potty trained as a dad. I know a lot of dads go through it, but I've been having the fortunate, lucky enough that he's learned very fast, and in the amount of time that he's learned it, he's been doing very well. You see, he's on his tablet now, so he ain't stunting me right now. But yeah, we usually just uh, wake up, make us some food, come down here. Um, he got all his toys. He got. Let me show y'all what else he got. He got a guitar, two guitars actually. He got an electric and a regular guitar and a piano, y'all. So yeah, I got a got a little musician over here. So he's gonna be a little musician, y'all, just to let y'all know. Cause I, I I guess I say a little musician. He's gonna be an artist. Cause I'm an artist. His mother's an artist. We both have. Uh, artistic talents that we do and that uh, just rubbed off on our son and he loves music same as we both do loves uh, all types of music he loves dancing singing moving all of that that's what i used to do when i was young I used to dance, move, sing. so it's a generational thing of that joyous occasion that we like to do but it's always been about family hey that's the look when he did something wrong with 
Bad. But yeah, it's always been about being down here. Just me and him. He had fun. I had fun with him when I'm down here before I go to work. So he got his games and his little play things. And I got mine, y'all. As y'all can see, still got the controller. Still got my PS5. So while I'm playing, he plays and he comes mess with me when he done with his toys and be all up under me wondering what I'm doing. Sometimes he'll hand me the controller and say, what are we doing? We're about to play this game. I do this, so it's a good thing. Good thing. So I guess uh, that's why we're down here. I can review a couple of games that I got recently from um, PS Plus. I ain't buy the whole thing because I can't cash out that sixty dollars right now. I just can't do it. I don't understand why they make you pay to use the internet. That's basically what they're doing. It's a, it's a scam to me, for real. Because you buy the internet, you buy the actual console, you buy the actual game, but you can't play online. Unless you buy PS Plus. You play regular game. Single player campaign story mode. You can do all that. But if you want to play with somebody else. As far as your friend. If they got a PS5. Or if they got a PS4. Or stuff like that. They online. You cannot play with them. Unless you buy PS Plus. Which I think is so stupid. But I mean everybody got to make money. And it didn't used to be like that. See the last game I had was a PS2. I never had a PS3, never had a PS4. Then I jumped from PS2 to a PS5. So all of this was new to me. Everybody said, hey, you had PS, you had PS account, you had PlayStation Network. No, I did not. I had PS2. They ain't had no names, no username, no password, no none of that. You just got on, put your CD on, played your game, took your CD out, put it in another game. That was it. Save your data. That was it. Real easy. Everybody else, they done moved on, got the other games. I didn't. Just wasn't trying to do all that. It was so hard trying to get this PS5. I can only imagine trying to get a PS3 and a PS4. Wasn't even about to do it. I did try though. Just wasn't about to do it like that. Not as much as I did for this PS5. But now that I got it, I see it's a lot. You know, buying games. Then you got to buy to be on the internet. Then you got to buy to be online. It's a lot. Definitely a lot. So, uh, I'm going to let y'all know the games I've been playing recently. Um... I've been playing Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, because I know it's different ones. Um, God of War. Uh, let me see. Uh, the Last of Us Remastered. So basically, it's the first one. I didn't make it to the second one yet. And um, Call of Duty, Cold War, uh, Avengers, Mortal Kombat 11. Let me see. What else do I got? Uh, oh. Both the Spider-Mans. Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales. I beat uh, both the Spider-Mans. I loved them. My review on both of those, I'm just going down the list. I loved them. They were very good. Uh, very entertaining. Story modes were awesome. I mean, graphics, awesome. Gameplay, awesome. But just the visuals of being open world, it was good. I'm a fan of Spider-Man, a fan of Marvel, so... It was a thumbs up for me. Uh, I knew I wanted to play Miles Morales first over playing Spider-Man because, you know, I never had PS4. So when PS5 came out, that's all they showed was Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. So, yeah, I want to play that. But I'm a person that likes to go in order. And if it's not in order, it ain't decent. And decency is always with order. So I had to play the first Spider-Man, which was way longer than I intended before playing Miles Morales. So once I realized that, I said, hey, you gotta suck it up. Go ahead, try and beat it. So I beat the first Spider-Man, moved on to Miles Morales. I did that so fast, I didn't even know I was done. I said, wow, that's it. Five bosses and you right there to the end? Yep. So uh, after that, started playing Avengers, beat the story mode. Uh, still waiting on the uh, Hawkeye and Spider-Man to come whenever they show up. I did the Kate Bishop thing. I liked Avengers, very good game. I like the Avengers period, so Square Enix, good gaming design company, very good. Like, it. Yeah, look, this is my son playing his piano. I guess he want me to, i turn it on for you. There you go. Go ahead, play it. He loves piano, y'all. 
It's gonna be a little Stevie Wonder. Look. What you playing? There you go. What? What you playing? What you playing? You really playing, huh? They make sure they lucky when you playing, right? Get it. There you go. Well, he gonna be a real masterful player when he get done. Y'all just wait on his album coming too, so is mine. So, y'all just wait. He's starting off fresh, fresh. He got it. Told y'all he got that piano. He got that guitar. He coming for y'all. Neo, Chris, all of y'all, he coming. John Legend, he coming. Y'all better watch out. He just get started, but he coming. Kurt Franklin, he coming. Y'all better watch it. See, look, he, he ain't even got to play it and it's still playing. Look at that. And he only two. He only two. But yeah, but uh, yeah, he very musically inclined. That's my son right there. Just like his dad and just like his mom. But yeah, what was I doing? Uh, reviewing games, yeah. Finish game was very good. Um, I don't say I got a specific genre of games that I like to play, but um, I would say that uh, if I had to pick one, it would be like a open world, um, adventure type games besides that I guess fighting games because I ain't really too much on sports games or shooting games I'm gonna be honest I like shooting games don't get me wrong but if they don't have no story mode I ain't about to do it All right, I do like Halo Call of Duty like story modes and those but am I gonna sit there and play multiplayer all day nah nah I play it a couple of hours but not every single day I get super bored Doing it. I used to do it a long time ago, but now <laughs> I don't know if I can do that no more. It's just the repetitiveness, the repetitiveness of it was too much for me. So I said, nah, I can't even do that. So I ended up getting the console version. So I'm gonna show y'all my consoles that I just see it. Console games I got. Yeah. yeah. So as I said, hey, leave it alone, I got it. Thank you, thank you. So as I said, I got Call of Duty, Cold War, for the PS5. My wife got me the uh, collector's edition of the actual gaming set cover of the Avengers game. I got the regular one, but it's, you know, this one is made better. Mortal Kombat 11, as I showed y'all previously on my last video. And Spider-Man Miles Morales, as I said earlier. Plus the other Spider-Man right there. So those are the uh, actual discs I have. Um, like I said about the other games, Tomb Raider, um, God of War, um, The Last of Us. Those type of games, I actually downloaded those. And I still don't understand why they make you download it if it's the same exact thing. If it's a console CD game, they make you download it. If it's from the console, they make you download it if it's digital. So it's like you're basically paying to do the same exact thing you would if you actually bought the digital one. But that is neither here nor there. I guess that's if you want to have a collection or something like that, which I chose to have. So got to deal with that. But yeah, that's all the games I've really been playing. Uh, I used to be a bigger gamer than I am now. Now nah, I just play what I want to play now. <laughs> but back in the day when I saw games, I was like, yeah, I want to play that. But I never had the actual game to play it. So now nah, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play it. I got I got one right here. Look. See, he's trying to bring me control. This is what he do. He think I don't already got one. I told him last time I got one. Look. See. I got one. Look. Thank Put it back. Thank you. My son is very helpful when he's down here with me. He already knows that I want to control it to start up my game. And he gonna be give me about an hour and a half. Then he gonna come sit next to me and say, "All right, now, time winding down. Now I'm about to sit next to you." You want to get 
Hey, put that back. Put it back over there. Buddy, put it over there. Put it in there. Yeah, put it in there. There you go. Put it in there. There you go. Hey, my son. I'm not going on a suicide mission with some mortal. Yeah, my baby smart. My baby smart. But yeah, that's basically what we do. Not too little family, but uh, speaking on family, y'all, I gotta tell y'all a story. Gotta tell y'all a story. Well, let me get this chair, cause I'm about to have holding this thing, y'all. Watch out, watch out. Ugh, okay. All right, y'all. All right, don't touch my chair. Give me my chair right here. <sighs> Say what's up? What? Say what's up? Put this back. All right. The world. Here we go. Zero. So recently, I ain't gonna say recently because it's like January <laughs> 2021, but September of last year, y'all, I found my birth family back in September y'all I mean craziest thing happened y'all you gonna get it craziest thing happened met my birth family yes I am adopted I was adopted at the age of three knew my family love my family don't get me wrong in the wrong being adopted and everything but you know in your mind you think like hey who am I from? Who else do I look like? Who else has the same name? Do I have a twin? All that stuff's well in your mind when you adopt it. And that's how I always thought when I was younger, growing up, getting older. One day, finally happened out of nowhere. Uh, I think this was on a Saturday or a Sunday, one of those. I can't remember, but I had just went to the gas station to go get some gas and uh, Somebody inboxed me saying, I think you are my cousin. I'm like, what? Now, you know, because everybody on Facebook that I'm Facebook, they know me as Antoine Albert. So I'm like, I don't know about all that. You know, you're very skeptical when somebody inboxed you saying that your family, you like, I got my whole family and I know my whole family. So who is you? So, the reason I realized that that was my actual family is because she said my first last name. And don't nobody know my first last name unless they're my family. And when she said my first last name, I said, oh, this must be real. This must be my actual family that's looking for me. So, from the time I was born to now, they actually found me, so it wasn't denying once you found out my actual last name, that's what it was. So it was a trying thing. I know you go through a lot, all these feelings swirling around. I'm finally about to meet them, finally about to meet all of these people that I never knew this whole time, but they know all about me and I never knew about them. It's crazy. I mean, I found out I had more brothers and the people that adopted me, my family that adopted me, they adopted me and two other girls. One of the girls were actually my birth sister. I never knew that until I got older and we both met our real family at the same exact time. She texted me like, hey Antoine, uh, I don't know if you got the same text message, but somebody inboxed me saying that uh, they're my cousin. I'm like, yeah, I got the same thing. So she's like, oh, okay, I just want to make sure wasn't just me everything but yeah we met our family at the same exact time through Facebook I actually met them in person before she did because she is out of the country so it's very hard for her to get back into the country because she works and is very busy with what she does in um, Korea she's very busy with that so it's understandable she has actually physically met them like I have because I'm still 
in the United States. They stay in Inkster. I'm in Redford, so much easier for me than her. So, yeah, when I met him, very cool people. I'm very open. When I first get used to things, I try to treat everything as a new experience. I don't try to act a certain type of way or go into it with a certain type of feeling of, you know, why y'all weren't looking for me or why this or why that? Or, you know, I just wanted to know and to see and be around that because I wasn't around it. And it's best to be open about it, uh, joyous about it. It's a joyous thing to find your family. I mean, especially if you've been actually looking for them, which I have. I've been looking, they were looking, and we found each other. It's a beautiful thing. Um, met my grandmother, uh, met all my brothers. Um, very cool people, very good family. Uh, met my cousins, all of that. So it's a big family. So now I have a bigger family than I did before. And it's such a blessing to find that some people still haven't found it, but I'm gonna tell you this, don't give up looking. Don't stop looking. Don't stop thinking that you're never gonna find them. If you're a family that's looking for your loved ones, don't stop looking for them. Cause I almost gave up. My sister was saying we're gonna get an ancestry um, kit. We're gonna get a, um, those type of kits. They, we was gonna get those and we gonna, we gonna still look. But she said that when she said she was gonna come back from my career, but. But yeah, never stop looking. If you really want to find it, you know, just always, just keep looking, you know, because you never know who may be looking at Facebook. <laughs> obviously did the work for us, you know. Social media is a big platform for if you want to look for somebody, find somebody, find what they're doing and what they're not doing. So it was a good platform for me to meet my family. I mean, I was glad I met them. That's a void that was filled to me that I've been looking for for a very long time, so I was very happy about it. I'm glad now. So now I can say that I know where I came from, I know who I look like, I know what I belong to. I know that now. Now when I look at my son, he knows that now. My wife knows that now. Love the family. Very cool people, had them over, all of that. So, now, see this? This is what he does, y'all. Every time I, I'm talking, he just do stuff that I gotta turn to him. You know you still gotta use it, right? Right? So leave it alone. He got all these toys and he wanna play with other stuff that's not toys, which I don't understand. Like when I was a kid, I was playing with stuff that was not toys. Get out of it! Get off it! Get off it! See, he know when I raise the voice, that's it. Leave it alone! That's it. So I don't holler always because I like to keep it to where when I holler, he know daddy mean business. He mean business. Okay? When I use my regular voice, that's it. But when I... That's it. No more games, he know. When that voice get raised, that's it. I ain't got to do nothing else. But, yeah, basically... We come down here, we chill with the toys, we chill with the game. And we, we back again, so I guess, I guess my movie has been a little bit too long. My wife did say I could talk, so I guess that is true. I can talk. So, I'm going to try and wrap it up now. But yeah, I got a couple of games I'm going through right now. Uh, I'm going to get some more, I'm going to play some more games. I still haven't started, um... Batman Arkham Knight because I'm getting ready for uh, Gotham Knights. It's going to be coming out later this year. So that's basically what I'm doing. I come down here. I try and play a game. Same game every time because I try and beat one before I move to another. Because I hate changing over games. Um, and yeah, I play with my son while we down here till I got to go to work. Because I hate working nights. But other than that, this is what we normally do. Just me and him sitting down here chilling. That's all we do. But... Not to say that that's gonna be every day. You know, this is just because of COVID, because I guarantee you, and it's snowing. When it's better outside, we outside. I'm an outside person, so I like being outside. My son like being outside. He like his little water guns we got. And he like his little pool we got, so. 
We're gonna be outside. We're gonna do different things. Uh, told y'all my workout videos is coming. Uh, his singing videos is coming. Got some game reviews coming, movie reviews, all of that. So, y'all just wait on it. For real. Just wait on it. All right, y'all. Come here, buddy. Don't say bye. Come on. Come on. Here you come. You take a bad though. Come on. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Make him talk about him. Say bye. He loves bragging about how great he is. Say bye. Oh, not since I ripped off his leg. You ripped off his leg. Say bye. Bowie. Alright, y'all. See y'all later.